the evolution of China's Dongfang missiles, from Cold War copies to hypersonic Titans, in the vast deserts of China, a missile arcs silently through the sky. Its path a symbol of power, precision, and decades of relentless innovation. The Dongfang or East Wind missile series began as a simple copy of Soviet rockets. But over 60 years later, it evolved into one of the world's most sophisticated missile families, capable of striking targets across continents at hypersonic speeds. Today, we trace the evolution of the Dongfang missile series from its humble beginnings with the Dongfang 1 to the latest cutting-edge Dongfang 61, and how it reshaped the balance of power in the modern era. In the 1950s, China was a young nation with big ambitions. To stand toe to toe with the superpowers of the Cold War, with help from the Soviet Union, China gained access to the R2 missile, a derivative of the German V2 rocket. This became the foundation of the Dongfang One, China's very first ballistic missile. The missile was a single-staged, liquid-fueled, and had a range of only 550 kilometers. Dongfang One was mainly used for testing and training. It wasn't a weapon of war, but a stepping stone. Proof that China could launch, guide, and hit its targets. China quickly advanced to the Dongfang II, a medium-range missile capable of carrying a nuclear warhead. In 1966, the DF-2A version successfully tested a nuclear payload, marking China's entry into the nuclear missile club. The next in line, the Dongfang III or CSS-2 in NATO terms, pushed the range to over 2,500 kilometers. Capable of striking distant targets like Japan or U.S. bases in Asia, exported later to Saudi Arabia, it became China's first missile sold overseas. As the Cold War intensified, Beijing sought to build missiles that could reach even further into the heart of global rivals. The Dongfang Four was a key milestone, China's first true strategic deterrent with an operational range of 5,500 kilometers. China's first intercontinental ballistic missile capable of striking targets as far as the U.S. mainland. The Dongfang 5 was behemoth, over 30 meters tall, launched from silos, and capable of carrying multi-megaton nuclear warheads. It firmly placed China among the few nations capable of global nuclear reach. China soon realized that the giant, liquid-fueled missiles were powerful but slow. They required hours to prepare, and were vulnerable to preemptive strikes. The next revolution was mobility and solid fuel. The Dongfang 11 was commissioned in 1987, a highly accurate short-range missile. With the Dongfang 11 and Dongfang 15, the rocket force could move, hide, and launch within minutes. These missiles introduced China's ability to deliver precise strikes without warning, and without nuclear payloads. The age of conventional ballistic power had begun. The Dongfang 21 marked a new generation of medium-range precision weapons. Initially designed as a nuclear missile, it later evolved into one of the world's most feared conventional weapons, the Dongfang 21D, nicknamed the Carrier Killer. The Dongfang 21D variant can be equipped with maneuverable re-entry vehicle and can strike moving ships at sea. While China perfected regional dominance, it also modernized its long-range deterrent. The Dongfang 31 series marked the shift from silo-based to fully mobile intercontinental systems. The missile made China's new nuclear deterrent survivable. They could hide, move, and launch from almost anywhere. The Dongfang 26, nicknamed Guam Killer, has a range between 3,500 to 4,000 kilometers. It has a dual nuclear and conventional capability. It can target both land bases and moving ships. The Dongfang 26 pushed China's reach deep into the Pacific. With its dual role flexibility, it blurred the lines between conventional and strategic warfare. As global missile defense systems improved, China took the next leap: hypersonic weapons. In 2019, the world got its first look at the Dongfang 17 carrying the Dongfang ZF hypersonic light vehicle. The Dongfang 17 doesn't just fall back to earth like traditional warheads; it glides through the atmosphere, weaving and dodging at extreme speeds. It's nearly impossible to predict or intercept. This weapon symbolizes a new era 
with speed, agility, and unpredictability to find power. The Dongfeng 41 represents the pinnacle of Chinese missile engineering, fast, mobile, and massively destructive. Each warhead can strike a different target thousands of kilometers apart, giving it enormous strategic leverage. It can carry up to 10 multiple independently retargetable reentry vehicles. Beyond the publicly known missiles lies a veil of mystery. Newer designs like the Dongfeng 27 and the rumored DF-61 are shrouded in secrecy. Reports suggest the Dongfeng 27 might carry hypersonic vehicles over intercontinental ranges, merging the best of both missile classes. The not officially confirmed, defense analysts speculate that the Dongfeng 61 is in early development, potentially a next-generation ICBM featuring advanced guidance, decoys, and stealth technology. If true, it could be a part of China's effort to outpace even the most advanced missile defense systems. The Dongfeng missiles have not only transformed China's defense posture, they've reshaped global strategy. Nations around the world have to rethink their missile defense systems, naval deployment zones, and deterrence doctrines. The US expanded its Aegis and TAT missile defense system. Japan and South Korea developed a rapid response and radar coverage networks. India also accelerated its Agni and Prithvi missile programs. Every evolution of the Dongfang family sends a ripple through global geopolitics, proving that in modern warfare, technological momentum is power. From the clunky, Soviet-inspired TF-1 of the 1950s to the sleek hypersonic Dongfang 17 and beyond, the Dongfang missile family tells a story, not just of weapons, but of a nation's technological awakening. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into the evolution of the Dongfang missile series, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more military technology explainers. Drop a comment below, which Dongfang missile do you think changed the game the most? The next episode, Inside China's Hypersonic Arsenal. Stay tuned.